the glow of Thanksgiving lights flickered in the windows as I ascended the creaky stairs to explore the attic of my ancestral home. The air was thick with memories and a sense of nostalgia wrapped around me like a shroud. The attic, a treasure trove of forgotten relics, held the whispers of generations long gone. In a dim corner, obscured by dusty boxes, I discovered a forgotten tome, an ancient recipe book that belonged to my great-grandmother Rosalind. Its pages were yellowed with age, and the handwritten recipe seemed more like ancient incantations than culinary instructions. Intrigued by the opportunity to connect with my family's culinary legacy, I decided to attempt one of Rosalind's famed Thanksgiving recipes. As I dusted off the cover, the musty scent of thyme unfurled around me. The recipe I chose was for a dish simply titled Harvest Elixir. The ingredients were cryptic and the measurements seemed more like alchemical proportions than anything found in a conventional kitchen. Undeterred, I set out to gather the peculiar components listed in the recipe. The first ingredient, the essence of autumn shadows, proved challenging to find. I combed through the local market and, after much inquiry, was directed to an elderly herbalist who claimed to possess rare ingredients from a bygone era. The old woman, with eyes like ancient wells of wisdom, handed me a vial containing a shadowy substance that seemed to dance with its own volition. The next item on the list was the Whispers of Whispering Pines. It was said that the distant, haunting murmurs of the trees held the key to this elusive ingredient. Under the light of the waning moon, I ventured into the nearby woods, guided by the ethereal sounds that echoed through the night. As I collected the intangible whispers in a crystal vial, the air around me became charged with an energy that sent shivers down my spine. Back in the kitchen, I arranged the gathered ingredients, each more mysterious than the last. The recipe instructed a series of ritualistic steps, chants and gestures that seemed to bridge the gap between the culinary and the arcane. As I stirred the concoction, the room filled with an otherworldly fragrance, a blend of sweet nostalgia and ancient secrets. Suddenly, a chill swept through the kitchen and the temperature plummeted. The flickering candles cast eerie shadows on the walls and the ethereal form of my great-grandmother Rosalind materialized before me. She wore an apron stained with the hues of autumn's long past and her eyes held a wisdom that transcended the boundaries of the living. Child, she whispered, her voice a melody of forgotten times. Some recipes are better left undisturbed. The harvest elixir was crafted in a different era, a time when the veil between worlds was thinner. It was meant to bring prosperity to the harvest and protection to the family. But with the passing of generations, its magic has grown unpredictable. Her spectral hand reached out, and with a gentle touch, she guided me through the remaining steps of the ritual. The elixir simmered, its colors shifting like the changing leaves. As the last verse of the incantation left my lips, the room was filled with a blinding light that slowly faded leaving only the aroma of a Thanksgiving feast long gone. Rosalind's ghostly figure dissipated, leaving me alone with the harvest elixir. Uncertainty lingered in the air as I pondered the consequences of unleashing a recipe tied to the very fabric of family history. The elixir, now contained in a crystal carafe, held the essence of autumn's past and the wisdom of ancestors. As the clock struck midnight, a soft wind rattled the windows, carrying with it the echoes of family laughter and the rustle of leaves long fallen. The harvest elixir, a bridge between worlds, stood as a testament to the delicate balance between honoring tradition and navigating the supernatural currents of the past. And as I descended from the attic, the glow of Thanksgiving lights flickering behind me, I couldn't shake the feeling that the shadows of Thanksgiving past would forever linger in the corners of our family's history. The autumn wind whispered secrets as I cleared the neglected backyard of my ancestral home. Amidst the overgrown weeds and tangled vines, I uncovered a long-forgotten patch of land. It was a burial ground, a graveyard for the dreams and aspirations of farmers who had toiled in the soil, betrayed and abandoned by the changing tides of fate. As I delved into the history of this forsaken harvest ground, I discovered a tale that transcended generations. The year was 1863, and the village thrived on the bountiful harvests that graced the tables every Thanksgiving. However, one fateful season, the crops failed, and the village faced famine and despair. In a desperate attempt to salvage their fortunes, the villagers, in a moment of collective madness, 
chose to sacrifice a neighboring farm's harvest, blaming them for the misfortune that had befallen the community. The land was cursed, and the spirits of the betrayed farmers, burdened by the weight of injustice, vowed revenge. The cursed harvest was meant to doom the thieving village, but the plan backfired. The stolen crop sustained them briefly, but the spirits' wrath struck mercilessly, claiming the lives of those who had orchestrated the theft. The village, now tainted by the echoes of betrayal, withered away, leaving behind the cursed land as a testament to their collective sin. The spirits, bound by their unfulfilled lives and unquenched thirst for vengeance, lingered on the edges of the cursed patch. They waited for the day when someone would unwittingly unearth the past, releasing them from their spectral prison. And that day had arrived with my discovery. As I dug into the soil, the earth seemed to resist, as if warning me of the impending doom. Ignoring the subtle warnings, I unearthed an ancient rusted chest. As I opened it, a burst of cold wind swept through the air, and the ethereal voices of the wronged farmers echoed, recounting the tale of their stolen harvest and the curse that bound them. The curse, intricately bound to the stolen crops, sought retribution for the lives lost and the dreams shattered. The spirits, once tormented, now saw a glimmer of hope in my presence. Could I be the key to breaking the curse and granting them the peace they longed for? In the dead of night, as the moon cast an eerie glow over the cursed land, the spirits manifested, transparent figures, their faces etched with agony, surrounded me. Their mournful whispers filled the air, pleading for redemption and justice. Compelled by a sense of responsibility and a desire to right the wrongs of the past, I embarked on a quest to unravel the intricacies of the curse. The ancient recipe book from my great-grandmother's attic, infused with mystical knowledge, became my guide. Each page turned revealed cryptic symbols and incantations, a language of magic that held the key to appeasing the vengeful spirits. The process was arduous, with moments of despair as the spirits tested my determination. Unseen hands knocked over ingredients, and chilling winds threatened to extinguish the sacred flames. Yet, driven by a mixture of fear and determination, I pressed on. As the ritual unfolded on the night before Thanksgiving, the air crackled with energy. The spirits, caught between the realms of the living and the dead, wavered in anticipation. The stolen harvest, symbolizing the sins of the past, transformed before my eyes. The crops, once cursed, now radiated a soft, ethereal glow. With each completed step of the ritual, the grip of the curse loosened and the tormented spirits found solace. Their anguished cries turned into grateful murmurs, a symphony of redemption echoing through the cursed land. As the first light of thanksgiving dawned, the spectral figures faded, leaving behind an air of tranquility that hadn't graced the land in over a century. The curse was broken and the stolen harvest, now purified, bore witness to the reconciliation between the living and the dead. The once neglected backyard, now free from the shadows of the past, flourished with life. Vibrant flowers bloomed and a sense of renewal filled the air. The village, long forgotten and abandoned, seemed to come alive with the spirits finally at rest. That Thanksgiving, as I sat down to share a meal with my family, I couldn't help but reflect on the interconnectedness of past and present. The harvest curse, once a looming specter, had transformed into a tale of redemption, a reminder that acknowledging the sins of the past could pave the way for a brighter future. And so, amidst the warmth of familial bonds and the aroma of a feast prepared with newfound gratitude, I gave thanks not only for the present, but also for the forgotten spirits who, in their own way, had become a part of our Thanksgiving legacy. We hope you enjoyed those spine-tingling tales as much as we did. If you're still feeling a little spooked, don't worry, you're not alone. But before we say goodbye, we have a few things to ask of you. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you found these stories as chilling as we did. It really helps our channel. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already. There are plenty more eerie adventures waiting for you right here, so you don't want to miss out. Share this video with your friends and fellow thrill seekers. After all, spooky stories are best enjoyed with company, right? That's a wrap for today, but stay tuned for more bone-chilling content in the future. Until next time, remember to keep your flashlight handy, your wits about you, and always be ready for the unexpected. Thanks for joining us on this haunting journey. 
Take care and may your nights be eerily entertaining. See you in the next video.